World Population Day. The World Population Day is a UN initiative and is celebrated on 11th of July every year. Since the population crossed 5 billion and kept exploding in the year 1987, the UN took the initiative to celebrate this day every year and raise awareness about the harmful effects of overpopulation among the world countries. Every year, a theme is selected by the UN to celebrate World Population Day. Now let me tell you the main focus of World Population Day. It is celebrated to empower young boys and girls. It combats the issue of growing population and raises awareness among the people. It aims at spreading awareness about the exploding population and reproductive health. It educates people to remove gender stereotypes from the society. It ensures easy access to reproductive healthcare services to every couple. It demands certain laws for protecting the rights of a girl child. It focuses on family planning, maternal health, human rights, etc. It also focuses on poverty. What is the impact of COVID on population? Since a year and a half, we are badly battling this pandemic. Many lives have been lost, but still we do not know the origin of this virus and its behavior. Medicines to fight this virus are also under trial. Research shows that US is facing a significant decrease of births in a century. China has received 15% fewer registration for babies. As I told you before, every year a theme is selected by the UN to celebrate the World Population Day. The theme for this year is Rights and Choices are the Answers. Whether baby boom or burst, the solution to shifting fertility rates lies in prioritizing the reproductive health and rights for all women. Thank you. difficult to maintain. Let us celebrate the World Population Day to control the population growth. Thank you. I am K. Mahavishnu of 8th D. I am going to draw for World Population Day. I cannot carry the heavy load for long. So think about the population control. Hi, I am Lakshita from 8th B and I am going to do drawing for the World Population Day. Go, go, go. This is Shreya and today we are here to discuss about population. Before that, we'll have a small look on it. Population controls policies and are based on permits that improves the people's life. Must be achieved through reduction in the rate of population growth. Here is the major factor in population increase. According to the functionalized perspectives, social stability is achieved when Relation between social institutes are good. Now, I welcome my guests, Shravanti Puneet. Hi. And Rakshita M. Hi. There's first question for you, Rakshita. What are the benefits in increasing in population? I think the benefits are if the population is about the optimum size, the country will be able to make better use of its resources. There may be an increase in factory mobility if the rise has resulted from an increase in the birth rate or immigration. Expanding industries can lead to a new workers to the labor force. These people are likely to be familiar with new ideas and methods. If this is the case, home training costs will be reduced. Extra demand will be generated. This is likely to stimulate investment and this may lead to introduction of new technology. Rakshita, does the companies have big consuming market? 
Yeah, another advantage of the population is that it gives companies a big consuming market. The companies can sell in huge quantities, resulting in companies attaining economies of scale in production. In simple words, a huge population means a bigger market, and a bigger market means bigger profits, as far as companies are concerned. Rakshita, do we have young and energetic workforce? That's a big question. Another benefit is that there's a large number of young people in the country when the country can grow quickly if the country uses the services of those young people to do different. In simple words, if the country can have a proper infrastructure and resources, then a young working population will act as a catalyst which will propel economic growth to new heights. Thank you. Thank you for your information, Rakshita. Now, I call upon Shravanti Puneet to share her thoughts towards population. Shravanti, when population increases? The graph shows us that the population increases day by day, every year. Population growth creates food, health, economic and employment problems. It also reduces the per capita GMP and reduces the standard of living. Population growth puts pressure on natural resources like land, water and forest resources, which lead to its scarcity. Shramti, what is the ideal population of Earth? That's a really interesting question. The optimal population, enough to guarantee all the physical ingredients of a decent life to everyone, is 1.52 billion people. 9 billion is the maximum our planet can hold, and we're very close to that. Shramti, what is China doing to decrease their population? The country had feared that population might be hindering in their economic development. So, in 1979, they introduced a crucial policy to control that population, a one-child-per-family policy. This reduced and is still reducing the population in China. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, Shravanti. Now, to my conclusion, I am going to share merits and the demerits of population. Several, several countries have won the world's largest population are the countries that are developing extremely slowly. Due to the massive population, not everybody gets a chance to go to the school because of poverty. Many of the world's most remarkable innovations over the past 300 years are attributable to the population. Even more great minds lead to the more manufacturing itself is an adaption of increasing in population growth. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for inviting us. Here's a song about population. It's birds and deaths and some immigration. Demography is a key foundation. For I'm just getting a one nation. Break it down. What's the population in your town? Take the number and then break it down. Go by each and gender, race and then. Add the birth and deaths and move on. And then you start again. Babies make the population grow. But people come and sometimes people go. Some die and others move away. Millions of people come and go every day. Break it down, break it down, that's demography. Break it down, break it down, it's one, two, three. To balance the equation for your town or for your nation At the brink of rock and death and don't forget about migration Do the simple computation You will know what makes the population grow 7 million people on the earth But there are fewer deaths than births This one makes the population grow But if the birth rate keeps on falling The growth will start slow Break it down, break it down, that's demography. Break it down, break it down, it's one, two, three. 